Alright guys, this is our Vauxhall Astra that we're working on right now, a Vauxhall or Opel Astra. And as you'll clearly see there, the engine warning light is on, so what we're going to do is we're going to diagnose this fault. Um, we're going to use the Opcom kit and diagnostic software to actually diagnose the fault. Um, so we'll go and select our vehicle, so it's a 2000 model that we're in right now. It's an Astra G and it's within the engine section. So once you've got this screen up, as you will see here, you've got some vehicle information, VIN information, things like that. Uh, what you need to do is click on the fault codes. And then here is the fault code relating to the engine warning light. So we've got P0105, and in brackets 2, manifold absolute pressure, that's the MAP sensor, uh, voltage is too low. Um, what we can do is we can click on the measuring block section here call that up and then there you've got map sensor the voltage there is actually zero um, so what we really need to do is try and uh, well we're going to swap the map sensor out and then we'll come back to see if we can reset the engine warning light Alright, so we've put the new map sensor in, which goes in here, and what we're going to do is we're going to plug it in, and then we're going to hurry back round to the dashboard to see the engine light disappear. It should do the trick. There we go, and the engine light has disappeared from the dashboard. Now, what we really need to do is clear the fault codes. So we'll clear that off. And as you can see there, no DTCs present. Total number of codes, zero. Job successfully done. So we've successfully diagnosed the fact that the map sensor was faulty, needed to be replaced. We replaced that, cleared the codes, and as you can see there, the engine warning light has gone from the dashboard.